Good morning, everybody. Week one, day one, weigh in time. Let's get on the scale and we'll see where we're at. And then we're going to do our check in. So. This is after going to the bathroom. 257.4. It's going to fluctuate throughout the day, but just keep it consistent. Go to the bathroom, do your thing, hop on the scale, get your starting number for the day. And we're going to check in in one second. What's up? Day one, week one, time for the check in. So it's going to be the first one getting something revealing obviously um, just so you can see everything as far as your legs your upper body uh, here we go so we'll do some relaxed and some flexed poses basically just so we can look back so front relaxed front flexed Terrible. So terrible. Starting points. Here we go. Relaxed. Flexed. It's one of my favorites. Usually. See? It almost makes it look like I have abs. <laughs> Right side. Relaxed. Flexed. And this is my bad side. So No muscle in this. It's hiding. So much fat in my arms alone. Alright, so, did I forget anything? Nope. So, this is gonna be our starting point. Obviously, legs. It's one thing I wanna bring up. I mean, eh, I haven't worked on them for over two weeks now. Don't hate on me for skipping leg day. That's these bad boys. Hip flexors were ridiculous. So ever since I started the D-cycle, I don't think it's the D-cycle, but they have been getting better. So I think just taking the time off and not doing more squats. Calves are decent, but they'll get a lot more shredded when we go along. You'll see some crazy veins in this guy right here. The right one is... Oh yeah, this one's going to be ridiculous when we start shredding down. But you'll see how everything changes over the next three to four months. This is where we're at. Bam! Alrighty, so meal one here is going to be a serving a little bit less than because the actual serving is 126 grams. Ah! What's well, 126 grams? And this is 119. So with berries, there's not much calories total or carbs even. 
So it's really not a big difference. I'm just not going to track that. I'm also not tracking this because I only use a tiny bit. This is just an option to mix with your protein to get this sludge consistency. And I mix that with the berries because it's a great way to start the morning. Um, so berries, a scoop of protein, some coconut milk. I like almond milk usually, but this is all we have right now is soy milk, or I mean, excuse me, coconut milk. So I entered all those except for the coconut milk in. And, oh, that plus one other scoop of protein, and that's going to basically put me at 330 calories, 23 carbs, uh, 50 protein, I got a cracked screen, and uh, 6 grams of fat. So, my goal is calorie macronutrient. My calorie and macronutrient goals right now are uh, I'm, I'm gonna start with um, 3200 because I have a pretty high um, basal metabolic rate right now as well as I kind of like to walk around a lot I'm kind of energetic I guess you could say uh, especially at work because I just I'm I guess passionate about what I do there so I'm just always running around the store kind of excited all the time but I started off uh, I'm going to start carb cycling, so we're going to start with low carbs, 160 grams, and I'm going to try to keep the majority of the carbs around the workout, so close to like 40% before and 40% after, just to fuel the workout and recover from it, um, essentially, and the rest is just going to be basically fruits and vegetables. That's how we're looking at starting right now, and I know some people might think, uh, oh my gosh, it's so much protein, but I'm almost 260 pounds right now. And I'm also a big advocate of a high protein diet um, as an option. Obviously, everybody's different, but high protein option when cutting because your body is going to want to use your muscle as energy as you cut those calories. So I like having extra protein to tell my body, hey, no, 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 don't use my muscle. Use this little protein over here. So that's why we have that. And as you can tell, I'm talking really fast because I took, I can't even. Whew, I'm getting cotton mouth and talking so fast, but I took a hardcore burn and I'm feeling the energy as, as you said, as I said before, um, the cycle, I was not on any caffeine. I didn't take any pre-workout and it basically cleansed my body and got me ready for taking in everything, especially the <sighs> hardcore burn. So <laughs> it's 250 milligrams of caffeine per capsule. So it's pretty extreme. But I've taken a lot of caffeine before. I mean, I was on pre-workout for essentially a few years straight, uh, save for basic training and AIT. But I'm going to start off with pretty much a full thing of water. I just took a sip earlier to take my hardcore burn. Uh, and we're going to chug this bad boy down. So start off with a full glass or two of water. There it is. Best way to start your day, get your body hydrated. It's also gonna fill you up faster. Um, one little key tip to keep in mind just throughout the day as you're cutting is, or even just eating a normal healthy diet, um, drink a glass of cold water if you can before uh, you eat. It's going to fill you up faster, make you basically eat less if you're more full. And the cold water, it's just little things. Like I said, all these things I'm giving you are just little things that are going to add up in the end run. And I like to take every advantage I can. But the cold water is going to make your body have to heat it up to get to room temperature or body temperature so that it can be uh, used throughout the body. So it's more work that it has to do. So the more work your body has to do, the more calories it's going to burn. It's just little things, guys. Little things that add up. And that's going to help you in the long run. Uh, you know, all those little tiny, tiny, tiny minute percentages uh, I like to think are going to add up uh, as I go on throughout the months. So if I do that every day, all these little things, uh, we're going to see better progress. So there we go. First meal. And I'll check in with you all when I have some later. And yeah. No kitchen, no problem. No excuses, guys. Get that chicken cooked or however you want to get your protein in. 
start prepping. You don't have to meal prep, but it just makes life a little bit easier. This way, when I go to work or I go I don't know, out to run errands, I can have some good protein with me just to get the macros in, get some calories, and obviously, like I said, I'm going to need a lot of protein, so I can only have so many protein shakes. Get some good whole sources of protein from chicken, other meats, if you're a vegan, um, peas, legumes, plenty of options out there. Get it done. One and a half servings of old fashioned oats, it's Quaker, and two servings of Jif peanut butter. I prepared it not too long ago when I was getting the chicken ready, which is cooking again, and I only used one scoop, but I counted my macros in my fitness pal, and I need more fat, so I had to fit in an extra serving of per, uh, excuse me, uh, peanut butter. So we're going to get that here real quick, and I'll show you. The best way to do it is to start, first of all, I have two hands if you can. Um, zero it out with the tub on there, not with a spoon in it, and then fine from there. So it's 32 for a serving. I did 33 earlier for one for the first one in here because the numbers don't matter that much. Try to be as exact as possible, but don't stress your life over it. I'm going to mix the rest of this in there. This guy is done. And the other thing in this meal is going to be a serving of protein and Walden Farms calorie free pancake syrup. This is awesome. This mixed with the oats is a perfect combination right here. So you don't have to track how much this is unless you are worried about sodium. In that case, uh, you know, if you have sodium issues as far as uh, health concerns, focus. Okay, well, there's 95 milligrams of sodium in there. And it's not going to focus, but that's how many are in there per serving. Um, and there's six servings in the entire container. It's a quarter cup, so that's not a lot for how much you're getting out of it. And this stuff is amazing. It tastes great. Uh, I don't agree with all of the Walden Farms products, but this one is a money saver. Not really, because you're going to be spending a lot of money on it, because it's awesome. I know I'm going to work out in about two hours, so I want to give my body enough time to digest this. That's why I'm having this now. It's about 10 o'clock, I want to say. And I plan to work out probably around 12. i got to go in and do the end body. So I'm giving myself enough time after this meal to get on the end body, so that it's going to get more accurate reading as far as having a big meal right before. Obviously, it's not a huge meal, but... So, here are my results from the end body today. And there's my information. Today's date, and the time I took it, right before 12 o'clock. And the gym's right next door. So, weight went down. Water weight. Muscle mass, apparently, went down. And body fat went up. Now, this is what I expected, because... As I lose that water weight, it's really going to pull water from the muscles as well. So I believe the skeletal muscle mass takes into consideration the water included in the muscle mass. Because the dry lean mass up here is going to be just muscle without the water. And the total body water is above that. That's the total lean body mass is 223.6. Um, so that's water plus muscle plus muscle or plus water in muscle so I lost a little bit of muscle mass apparently it's really just the water being pulled from the muscles I kind of noticed it in my arms too and comparing with my old one I saw that the arms did go down a little bit more than the legs which is surprising because I was actually lifting upper body but not lower body so there it is that's what the cleanse did for me and I'm ready to go I am feeling the hardcore burn today, so it definitely did its job. Alrighty, so it is the end of the night, almost. I'm just going to wrap up the video because I want to make a couple more videos, um, get some stuff ready for my mom for tomorrow because it's her birthday, and I'm just going to go over my meals with you real quick, let you know how that went. So, my fitness pal, 
we got starting at the top breakfast was a scoop of whey protein with those frozen mixed berries another scoop of protein to sip on uh, second meal was the one and a half servings of oats with two servings of peanut butter and that Walden Farm syrup which I didn't track because it's calorie free and two or one scoop of protein with two half scoops of two different kinds just get some variety in there it tastes a lot better and then I had a scoop of weight gainer ha <laughs> look at that I'm using a, a mass gainer during a cut uh, but I only did half a serving and I added a half a scoop of protein to get a little bit more protein in there as well because it was only 30 grams so I wanted to get closer to 40 and then a fiber bar essentially it's a fiber protein bar mission one bars um, is six ounces of chicken and two ounces of almonds so I already had that and this is my next meal which I'm gonna eat as soon as I'm done with this and then the final meal is gonna be um, let's see, did I go over that meal? That meal was actually eight ounces of chicken and one serving of peanut butter. And this is going to be four ounces of chicken, two servings of peanut butter. And right before bed, I'm going to have this combination right here. It's going to be a scoop of um, casein protein and a half a scoop of whey protein. And the reason I have that there is to get more protein because I didn't hit my protein goal. And like I said, I was planning everything out before. So, totals for the day are 346 protein, 187 carbs, but 48 grams of fiber. So, um, about, I'd like to say, um, whatever you have over the recommended daily allowance of 25, you can subtract from your carbs. I mean, don't make it a habit, but, you know, since I hit 187, if I could hit 160 with the 48 fiber, that would be perfect. Uh, but sometimes it's really hard to hit that. Uh, so I'm still going to be under today. And that's what matters. And fat was 138, which is a little bit less than. But protein was high. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's it's been a not too bad of a day. I mean, the hardcore burn definitely helped with appetite. I wasn't even hungry when I was eating because of the caffeine. And I'm not used to caffeine ever since taking the D-cycle. So that's where I'm at. I just got a couple more meals to go. And I'll be up for probably about three more hours. Try to get to bed by 10. And this will be the last thing. So legs. I started off with squats. I was going to do 5x5. Five five, dropped it to 4x5 because my hip flexors were still hurting. So 4x5 of 275 squats. Lunges. Walking lunges with a bar. With a 110 pound bar. Uh, three sets of 12 reps uh, that was painful that's where the pain really started kicking like good sore muscle pain uh, not the bad kind leg extensions uh, four sets of 8 to 12 reps this is how I usually um, track all my workouts I have a million workouts in here I mean there's just so many make sure there's nothing in here that shouldn't be in here <laughs> Okay, so that's how I'm going to track it, SSS Steve Summer Shred 1.1, so week one, day one, and it's legs. And after leg extensions was lying leg curls, four sets of 8 to 12 reps, I increased the weight, and that's when I track it. Um, one, when I don't put anything after the number, it's just that, the top number of reps, so 12 at 140. 145 pounds for 10 reps, 150 for 12, 160 for 10. Calf press machine, it's this little seated, kind of upright seated, um, sitting like an L shape. And I go by the weight that's set to the numbers. So 4 by 8 to 12 of 308 according to the number, I think it was setting 8. I think it's a hoist machine, is the brand. And then I just move the weight up. Essentially move the pin down once every set and uh, try to hit that 12 to or 8 to 12 range. And as you can see, I, it was too easy at first, so I had 15. That's why I moved up. 
and seated calf to finish off the calves. I hit the soleus as well. And that was 90 pounds uh, for 12 reps each time. That uh, was a struggle for the last couple reps for most of the sets. Hanging knee ups, uh, just to get a little bit of work. And I'll put notes in here too. Uh, it's definitely a great idea to keep a journal of some kind. I put a little note here, not a great contraction on the hanging knee ups because I just wasn't feeling the abs. And that's why I'm not stressing too hard right now on ab training. Not because it's not important, but just when I'm at a heavier weight, I just don't feel a contraction as well. When I get down to a lower weight is when I actually feel it. So I'm, I'm not even going to be sore one bit. I'll be surprised if I was sore from those hanging knee ups tomorrow. And then I capped it off with 25 minutes of low intensity steady state, which is what the list means, on the uh, bike. And also sometimes, just to for goal purposes, record how many calories I burned. Uh, just so next time I can shoot for, you know, 420 or... 430, just something more than 417 calories, um, just to kind of make sure I push the intensity. And that's going to be it. This video is already so long, so I want to end it now, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.